Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important topic that is types of charges over securities, right? Very important topic. We are going to cover this topic within like 10-15 minutes, okay? So my name is Ramandeep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exams today from last 12 years and IBPS RRB scale 2 scale 3 course 2024 is available on one on bank exams today. So now you can get the 60 days course as well. The 60 days validity course is also available and our mobile number is available. Uh, you can WhatsApp us, you can call us anytime and we are going to answer you, right? So let's start with security. What do you mean by security? So students, whenever you um, go to a bank to get a car loan, if you need a car loan, okay. Uh, you pay some down payment, let's say uh, the value of the car is 10 lakh rupees and you pay 1 lakh rupee as down payment and 9 lakh rupee you get it a uh, loan from bank, right? Now the car is actually pledged. The car is with the bank as a security. Okay, this is a basic understand, basic meaning of a security. Security refers to an asset or property that borrower pledges to a lender, borrower, that means you, which property we are talking about, a car, to a lender, right here it is a bank, as a collateral. What is a collateral? It's a car. Okay. So this security provides a lender with the form of protection. In case you default, they can take away your car and recover their dues. So that is the purpose of security. Now there is primary uh, security and collateral security. So if you get the money from the bank and use the same money to buy an asset and that asset is, is pledged with the bank, that is a primary security. For example, in uh, a housing loan or a home loan, you got one crore rupee from the bank and you bought a house with that money. Now that house is pledged with the bank. So this is a primary security. This is the asset created or acquired using the loan proceeds for example in a housing loan the house itself is a primary security and then what is the collateral security uh, this includes additional assets please read the words additional assets or properties pledged for example you got rupees one crore business loan you got a one crore rupee business loan and the bank asked for uh, additional secured uh, securities. So you gave, you have a house of, let's say worth two crore rupees house that you have. Now that is pledged with the bank. So this is additional asset that is pledged with the bank. Okay. So this includes additional assets or properties pledged by the borrowers to secure the loan. Uh, these are separate from the primary security and provides extra cushion or extra assurance to the lender. For example, you took a business loan and pledged your car or house as additional security. So collateral means additional security. Primary means the same one housing loan may house. Collateral means business loan may car. Okay, so that is the under basic understanding of primary security and collateral security. Then what are the types of charges? There are fixed charges and floating charges. For example, uh, you got home loan, right? The home loan and the security here is, let's say your house is a security. That charge is fixed. It's not changing, right? But in case uh, of inventory, in case of inventory or uh, let's say uh, inventory is something that can change that is a floating charge floating charge is created on asset which undergo change of ownership like stock of goods of a shop inventory of a shop uh, you know that keep on changing that is a floating charge fixed charge the fixed charge is uh, is a kind of charge created on properties assets the identity nature of ownership that doesn't change for example land or building plant machinery or a house that is a fixed charge okay i hope that is uh, clear to you now uh, we are going to understand the various types of charges so uh, these these are the types of charges category of charges i would say but th this is the types basic understanding of the types of charges 
please read this particular table properly take a screenshot this is very very important from examination point of view okay bahut important hai mortgage uh, is created on immovable property um, commonly on uh, uh, houses or buildings right and the possession is with the borrower you got the housing loan you live in that particular house so that is a mortgage we are talking about mortgage pledge movable goods or property right so pledge is created on movable uh, property so it can be created on share certificate nse certificate or the gold jewelry so you take a gold loan that is a movable property right and the possession is with the uh, bank or the nbfc gold loan is a good example gold loan is a good example in the first one home loan is a good example okay hypothecation is created on movable goods or property plant and machinery automobile is a good example and the possession of asset is with the borrower and a good example would be a car loan you take a, a loan from the bank for car that is uh, uh, and you keep the possession with you uh, what is the difference between mortgage and hypothecation mortgage is created on immovable properties for example land building while hypothecation is generally uh, created on movable properties like a car lien so it is created on paper security for example shares uh, maybe your uh insurance policies or mutual funds if you take loan against your mutual funds and the banks is keeping the papers that is a uh you know lien so you take loan against loan against shares if you take loan against shares or stocks that is lien personal liability is nothing but personal guarantee uh, such as uh, by third party so it's like a guarantee let's not discuss that first four are more important right so if you are able to you know remember this table you will be able to answer most of the questions at the time of exam please remember that most of the time students they forget this that's the most important part of the whole lecture so difference between lien and pledge uh, what is the difference between lien and pledge so uh, the possession is with the lender in both of the cases uh pledge is created on movable property or movable goods lien is created on paper security first of all that is the major uh, difference right so the lien does not constitute ownership rather it is a type of encumbrance uh, therefore the lien is simply right to retain the asset not to sell the asset so the bank or the nbfc cannot sell cannot sell they cannot sell while in case of a pledge the uh, the bank they they have an a right to sell if you take a gold loan and if you default the bank or the nbfc can sell off your gold but in case uh, of a lien the bank cannot uh, sell your shares themselves right So what is the difference between a pledge and a hypothecation the same table a pledge is a charge on movable property uh is a charge on movable property with the possession transfer to the lender while a hypothecation is a charge on movable property without possession transfer to the lender you got the car loan you drive the car it's with you what is the meaning of crystallization of floating charge when a company uh, wants to close down its operation company ne bola hum business karna band kar rahe hain when they uh, cease to continue their operations so they are not in going concern they are going to close down the operation in that case uh, the floating charge becomes a fixed charge so that is crystallization okay that is a crystallization of uh, floating charge the floating charge becomes a fixed charge what is an assignment of actionable claim so it is transfer of rights and benefits of an unsecured debt from one person to another for consideration so a uh, transfer of rights and benefits from one person to another that is action, uh, assignment of actionable claim what is the difference between lien and pledge 
lien is a right to, to retain uh, possession of a property until the debt is paid while pledge is transfer of possession of a property as a security for debt. Okay. So in, in case of lien, the, there is only right to, to retain the possession until the debt is paid. In case of default, you cannot sell off the property. While in pledge, you can do the same. You can sell off the property. What are essential elements of a valid mortgage? Uh, there is no transfer of ownership. First of all, there is only transfer of, uh, there is no transfer of possession. There is only transfer of interest. So it is about immovable property, not about movable property. So C is the answer for a consideration and uh, there is a proper registration of the charge. What are the advantages and disadvantages of an assignment of actionable claim? So advantages easy to create, no stamp duty, no registration, disadvantages subject to prior claims, notice required, limited scope. So what is the different with, uh, difference between mortgage and a charge? So a mortgage is transfer of interest in immovable property, completely correct, right? Uh, while charge is a creation of interest in any property, right? What is the difference between fixed and floating charge? So a fixed charge is on a specific asset, a floating charge is on a class of asset. So what class of asset? that can be stock uh, inventory uh, inventory of a business that can be a floating charge okay so what are the advantages and disadvantages of a mortgage advantages high security low interest rate long repayment period so housing loans are generally of 20 30 years interest rate is generally low uh, security is high the house itself is a security Disadvantages, uh, the borrowers, they end up paying a lot of interest. There are a lot of legal formalities. Risk of foreclosure is always there because it's a long, uh, lengthy, long period debt. What are the types of mortgages based on their mode of transfer? So there can be simple mortgage, uh, usufructuary mortgage, English, equitable, anomalous or reverse mortgage. So this slide is actually very important. Uh, a simple mortgage is one where borrower transfer the interest in a immovable property to the lender without delivering the possession uh, or agreeing to sell it. So a simple mortgage, it's as the name suggests, it's simple. The borrower transfer the interest in the property, in the immovable property, right, without delivering the possession. A simple uh, mortgage uh, as uh, you know, there can be a, uh, you can see in case of a home loan, right? You keep the possession, but the borrower has an interest, right? Uh, another type, use of fructuary uh, uh, tongue twister mortgage is one where the uh, borrower transfer the interest in the immobile property to the lender along with delivering the possession, right? So I have made up a simple uh, table for that to understand. In the simple mortgage, uh, the borrower promised to repay the loan, but keeps the possession. Okay. So no transfer of property or personal obligation to repay in use of uh, The borrower gives a possession of the property to the lender until the loan is repaid. So you give the possession in old movies. You might have seen uh, the lender. They take the possession as well in English mortgage borrower. Uh, transfer the ownership as well that ownership is also transferred until the loan is repaid in case of default the lender becomes the owner in case of reverse mortgage it's very popular among senior citizens the home uh, the homeowners what they do is uh, they take money from the lenders against the property they they keep the position with them right the homeowner uh, Borrow, uh, borrow against their home equity and receive payments while living in the home. No repayment until home, uh, homeowner moves out or they, they pass away. In case their legal hires, they, they want to take the possession of the property, they need to repay their uh, the whatever the money they owe to the lender. So equitable mortgage borrower gives lender the title deeds. So you might have seen in the old movies, you give the 
property papers and then uh, you borrow the money right so that is equitable mortgage and the title deed uh, is the security for the loan right so there is no formal transfer of the ownership based on the title deeds right so these are the five common types of mortgages that we have discussed right reverse mortgage equitable mortgage anomalous mortgage what is anomalous so uh, it's combination it can be a combination of uh, any uh, you know uh, type of uh, mortgages it can be a uh, it can be a combination of reverse and english equitable or uh, simple right so it can be a combination of two mortgages right so that is a anomalous mortgage right so i hope you like the today's session please note down the tables are important uh, take the screenshots if you want to let me erase it for you so that you can take the screenshots uh, you can keep the screenshot you can take the printouts even for the previous table that i made please take the screenshot that is very very important for you uh, i guess yeah let me just uh, clean that i don't think i can clean this now you can take the screenshot uh, as well right so that's all i guess uh, we have done this if there is any doubt in your mind you can always ask your doubts ibps rrb scale 2 scale 3 course 2024 now the course is available for 60 days you can get the 60 days crash course on bank exams uh, this is our whatsapp number where you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts right so list of our successful students, all these students that took a course for the Union Bank of India Specialist Officer 2024. Recently, they cracked their exam for the Central Bank of India Specialist Officer for uh, SBI, CBO, for Bank of Baroda, MSME Relationship, for IBPSS, so Marketing, RRB Scale 2, Scale 3, 2023. All these students, they took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and I'm really, really happy for them. So you can be one of them in the future and yes, you will be one of them in the future. If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts and I am going to answer all your doubts. And that's all for today students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye bye.